You already know that you need an email list, but if you're about to build your email list for the first time, or if you already have a list and you're looking for a tool that is ridiculously easy to use and wildly affordable, then I'll be showing you inside one of my favorite new softwares that you probably haven't heard of yet. The tool is called Podia, and in addition to being one of my favorites for email list management, it also allows you to build a website, launch a blog, sell digital products, and create a community all under one roof. So you don't have to piece together a million different tools. In this video, I'm gonna be focusing on their email list management and showing you exactly how to build an email list and engage that list through email campaigns and automations. And by the way, you can start building your list and sending unlimited emails totally free for the first 100 subscribers all within Podia. Now let's go inside and show you Podia. All right, welcome to Podia. So as you can see, this does a lot of stuff, but we're gonna be focusing primarily on email list management. Every business needs an email list and they need to keep that email list engaged. But you also need a tool that can do that for the lowest price and that is the easiest to use and that's what Podia is. So I wanna start off just talking a little bit about building an email list. Maybe you're starting one for your first time. You're going to need to collect people's email addresses and ideally you wanna do this the same place that you have your email list. So Podia makes that super easy. So if you don't have a site, then you can use Podia to build your entire website. But if you do have a website, you can just use this to collect emails. Now this is a website that I threw together in probably eight seconds. And I added these opt-in pages. This is what we call an opt-in form. You collect their name and email address and they sign up for a newsletter. There's lots of different styles. This one's a little bit more condensed. Now within a Podia's site builder, they make it as easy as possible to add all of the main elements that you would need in a website. So if you want to collect newsletter subscribers, this is the best way to do it. Use Podia's website builder, add these opt-in forms to that website so that you can collect subscribers to your newsletter. But there is a different way to collect email subscribers, a better way. And that's what I like to call lead magnets, giving them something for free in order to get their email address so that you can sell them things later. And Podia allows you to do that better than just about any other platform and they make it as easy as possible. So under the product section in Podia, you're going to create a new product. Now these are all different things that you can actually offer for free. Uh, so typically I'd recommend a digital download. This is something that you'll typically give for free and you'll give it a name and create that product. Now let's go to one that I've already created, which is this free guide. Now, once you create that free guide, you'll be able to configure some elements of it. For example, what file are you going to give them once they purchase that free item and give you their email address? You'll be able to edit the sales page so that you can see what they actually see when they're purchasing this thing. And of course, you can set the name, the image, the description. They make it as easy as humanly possible to do this. Of course, setting a price, if you don't wanna make it free, you can control that here and even offer upsells on some of their paid plans. All right, so once you've configured this, let's go ahead and click on these three dots so I can show you how to share the link to your lead magnet. Go to share product, and then I like to send people directly to a checkout link. It seems to convert a little bit better. So let's visit that checkout link and show you how this actually works. All right, so boom, now we're on your website. All we're doing is collecting their email. So let's go ahead and put my email in. Now they're on the list, you've got their email. Let's go ahead and put their name. They're creating a password to create an account within your Podia. And just like that, you've given them their free guide and now they are part of your email list. Now, normally this would take several different softwares to do. You would need some kind of software to host your products like an e-commerce store or a digital download store, something to collect that opt-in and then a way to integrate it with your email platform. All right, so that's how to build your email list. You're going to use newsletter forms and you're going to use lead magnets. That's how you're going to get emails into your list. But what do you actually do once they're inside of your list? Let's take a look at tagging, segmentation, and how to actually treat that list. So the tabs in Podia that we're looking at now are going to be email and audience. The audience are the people that are on your list. Now here's my email because I just subscribed today. Now what's great is the information that we have on each of these subscribers, because this is really important. It knows that I purchased this free guide. I got this free guide for free. You can also add tags to your contacts so that you can segment them later. And another really important thing to note about tags is that when you're building these opt-ins on your website, you can also create tags here based on what opt-in they're using. So for example, if you have, a, this is a newsletter subscriber, you can tag them newsletter. So make sure that you go through 
your Podia tags and all, add all of the tags that you want to segment people by. I recommend doing it by where they came from and I recommend adding tags based on what they purchased. But if you have other information that you can use to segment your audience, create a tag for it. If you know their age, their gender, their interests, create a tag and try and give them those tags so that you can directly market to them later on. Now say you already have an email list and you wanna import it into Podia. You can come into Audience, Imports, and import that list from just about anywhere and you can import them with specific tags. You can invite them to product access, import them and add them to a wait list and you can give specific tags as you import them. Now remember, Podia is free for the first 100 subscribers. Just about every email tool is going to charge you by subscribers, but Podia makes it very affordable and easy to get started. There is no barrier to entry and no cost upfront. I'm showing you this from a free plan, so none of the stuff that I'm doing is going to be locked to you on that free plan. All right, now let's show you a little bit about how to actually create and send those emails once you have people on your list. Let's come into the email tab of Podia and we're gonna go ahead and create a new broadcast. Now what I recommend doing is knowing your branding and on the right hand side, you can set some global standards. So you can look at background, spacing, fonts, buttons, dividers, and just keep this consistent throughout all of your emails. This is a really nice thing that they offer that most emails don't. Now there's two types of emails that you're going to use as a business owner. All of us do both of these, so it's important to know how to do both. There are broadcasts and campaigns. A broadcast is a one-time email that you send to a large number of your audience all at the same time versus a campaign, or sometimes it's called an automated sequence. This is when somebody joins your list, they all get the same automated sequence of emails over a set period of time. So for example, I opt into your list today and you send me an email every three days for the next 30 days. This is something that's very common. I do this in my business and Podia allows you to both send broadcasts and create campaigns. Uh, remember the first thing that they're going to see is who this is coming from, Jay Feldman, the subject line and the preview text. This is what they see so that you can get them to open the email. So for deliverability and opt-ins and opens, I recommend putting a lot of effort into your subject line and your preview text. Now the from email, you're going to have to set a custom email address. You don't have to, you can get started right away and it's going to say from your name, it's going to forward to your main email address, but I definitely recommend setting a custom one. Now to do this, you're gonna add the email address that you want to send from here and you're going to have to verify it. So in order to verify it, they're gonna send you a little verification code and then you can use that email. Uh, after inserting a quick TXT record. And remember, if any of this stuff confuses you, they do have white glove onboarding. They can help you with every single step of this, even though it's all as easy as it possibly can be. So what I love about Poia is their templates that they have available. They have some really sleek ones that match just about everybody's brand. Now, the one I really like is this colorful template. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply this one. Change my mind, we're gonna be using this orange one. It's a little bit more on brand for me. The editor is as easy as possible. You can add these plus buttons to add more areas to your email address. You can import videos, you can import buttons, social medias, and you can edit right here within the editor literally with clicks of a button. But they do such a good job at giving you the closest possible templates to what you're going to need. The learning curve is going to be very, very small. You can also save this as a draft and finish later. You can send now or you can schedule a send. So I'm gonna go ahead and schedule one for a few minutes from now. Now that broadcast is scheduled and it's going to go to my entire list. If I wanted to control who actually gets this email, Within this recipient section, I can come in here and say subscribers, members, customers, and then I can hyper filter by what they purchased, what their tags are, when they signed up. Their ability to filter and segment your recipients is better than just about everything that I have tried in the past. So typically I use tagged to do this or has products to do this. So let's come into campaigns and show you what else business owners need to have in their business. So a campaign is a series of conditional emails. So let's go ahead and click new campaign and show you what this looks like. All right, so you're gonna name your campaign, who it's from. The important thing here is entrance conditions. When does somebody enter this campaign? When does somebody exit this campaign? And they made this as easy as possible. So let's click on condition and see what we have here. So if they're added to an audience, if they signed up for a product, so in my case, I signed up for free coaching. This is gonna add them to this specific automated sequence. And as you can see, it worked, enter one subscriber. Exits this condition. So obviously if they unsubscribe, they'll be taken out. But what if they say sign up for a coaching product with me? And the goal of this sequence is to get them to sign up for the coaching product. Once they do, they'll be taken out 
they won't receive any more emails. So let's go ahead and design some of these emails. So as you can see with these automated sequences, it'll show you what day, how many days to delay each email. So this one, we're going to delay it one day, give it a nice subject line and preview text. And let's look at some of their pre-made templates that we can choose. And of course, as always, we can save our own pre-made templates so that we can reuse them over and over again. All right, once I'm done with that first email that they get, let's go ahead and click done and then new email. So now this is the second email in their sequence. We're gonna delay it by three days. Email two, pre-made templates. Let's go ahead and apply that template again, and we can customize that email number two. As we can see on day three, they receive this one here. And we can keep going and keep going until we've got a nice long sequence. So this one they're going to get on day five. And again, we're going to use their nice pre-populated templates. Now we've got these three emails that we've designed in here. We've got conditions that bring them in. Now we can go ahead and run. Now this campaign, this automated sequence is live and anyone who downloads that free guide is going to get all three of the emails that we just set up and it's going to be tracking all of the metrics for those emails, the opens, the clicks, the sales. This way you can come in and make changes based on these metrics. So now you're off to the races. It really doesn't get much easier than that. If you're looking for an awesome tool to set up your list, to get subscribers through opt-in forms and lead magnets, set up automated sequences and set up campaigns to start delivering and do it for $0, you might wanna consider Podia. But one of the reasons that I definitely recommend this for people who are on a tool that is a little bit too difficult for them to use, they don't love it, Podia offers free migrations from your current tool to Podia. So they will actually white glove help you migrate from whatever you're using to Podia. So my call to action to you is if you're using something complicated or expensive, consider using Podia for your list building and your email marketing. And if you're a coach, consultant, marketing agency, anyone who sells info products, this is an absolute no brainer because it is all under one roof. I made the mistake of choosing tools that were very complicated that I had to all piece together. And once you get started with a tool and you've invested time into it, and you're building a list in there, it gets harder and harder to leave that tool. So make the decision to switch to Podia as soon as you can. And if you're a beginner, it's really important to have something that's beginner friendly in terms of user interface and usability but also price. You cannot beat Podia on the price for what it does. So please check it out. I've got a link down in the description. It is totally free to get in there and start using. It's not a trial. You can literally get in there for free and use all of the stuff that I just showed you for $0 up to your first 100 subscribers. That's a pretty insane deal. I hope you agree. So go ahead and check out the link down in the description. Hope you enjoy Podia and I'll see you in the next video.